Hey guys, we're going to cover how to use Exodus through Kodi with the Amazon Fire Stick, the newer version with the Alexa voice remote. From the home menu of the Fire Stick, you're going to scroll down to either the recent menu, which will have the Kodi if you previously visited, or underneath your apps and games, scroll over to the Kodi icon, which is the K uh, with the blue background. This is the 7.0 version. Go ahead and select it. The next menu that shows will give you an option on the left hand side to choose your different options through Kodi. You want to scroll down to add-ons which will then show a shortcut to Exodus. From there you select Exodus which is the program you'll use to access the movies and TV shows. Next menu that pops up is the option to choose a movie or a TV show. There's some other shortcuts that you can utilize below as well. For this purpose, we'll go into movies. There's some different filters here, genres, year, people, etc. Go ahead and scroll down to people watching or most popular. Uh, those are the two I use most, uh, most often. You can also scroll down to the very bottom and do even a search for a movie. We'll go ahead and go into people watching. The next menu will show a list of movies. Typically it's going to be the most recent ones uh, shown on this first page that are in theater, on DVD. Uh, it'll show details about the movie on the left hand side with the cover art. You can click the menu button on the remote to get more details about that movie, which is good whenever you're trying to find a movie to play. We'll go ahead and select a movie here. This next menu will pop up to show the providers that is trying to search for that have the movie that you selected. Uh, this can take a little bit of time to search. Uh, Okay, when that process is done, the next menu will come up showing all the different sources. Uh, you'll have different video quality options, 1080p, HD, and if you scroll down, you'll also see some standard definition, which do not have a label. Um, depending on your internet connection, you want to choose either HD, 1080p is also good if you... Uh, are watching something that's on DVD and has a good copy. We'll go ahead and choose the HD version number three here. Once you select it, it shouldn't take too long uh, before it starts. If you have previously watched the movie or started it, it will give you the option to resume or you can start from the beginning. We'll go ahead and sit start from the beginning. And there you go, the movie's on, gives you all the options to pause, fast forward. Uh, you can even go backwards into the menu to select a different copy or select a different movie if uh, you don't wanna watch this particular movie. If you decide you wanna see the full screen and go back to the movie, you can always arrow over to the left and then scroll down and select this option. And then I'll put it back into the movie. Thanks for watching today and please subscribe to my videos. Have a good day.